Oh yeah, oh yeah. In the club, in love with the dub. Active here, I'm free like a dove. In love with the bass, in love with the sub. In love with the energy I get from above. Hot in the club, in love with the dub. Active here, I'm free like a dove. In love with the bass, in love with the sub. In love with the energy I get from above. Wheel it, take it, take it back. Fire burning on the trap. Get down, get down, make it clap. Like one, two bars, we deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with that. Deal with that. Come around, come around, family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. Know this year, come around, come around. Come around, come around, family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. Know this year, come around, come around. Rhythm in the bass. 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 Get down, get down, rhythm in the bass. Rhythm in the bass. Get down, get down, rhythm in the bass. Active, yeah, we get down. UK waving, no, we get down. Oh, he's the original sound, but people all over. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. It's Friday morning, Friday the 6th of September. And uh, I think I'll do like, a, a, hello, I'll do like kind of like a full day of eating, take you through my day. Um, it's early, uh, as you can tell, I filmed already, otherwise I wouldn't be wearing this kind of makeup first thing in the morning. But basically, I woke up early, so I finished doing some editing, and then I filmed the video, which I'm oh, but I barely touched your ear, little princess. Uh, but hi. Hey, needy girl. Uh, what was I going to say? So today, uh, I don't know what I was saying, anyway. So today, we're going training in the morning. Then I have to get back at the video. Then I will have to try and have a nap because I've been up since far too early. And then at 2.30 I have a nail appointment because look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. I can't wait to get my nails on. It's like actually annoying me. They look fucking horrendous. And then come back. And then I'll have a members live stream to get ready. And then we're going to go on a date tonight. And then that's it. So maybe do a little bit of camera vlogging. I've got the phone vlogging to show you what I'm having for dinner. We're going to the French restaurant, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'll show you what I'm eating today, I guess. And then I'm not sure what I'm having for dinner. So you can see. And then we're going to go to the square bar. Yes. So I'll be getting dressed up. I'm wearing heels and stuff. I look nice. So yeah. That's it, really. Are you training today? Yeah, I do. What are you training? I just called the bench. Okay. Do you want to go to Garotage? Okay. So he got me this thing which is called like a multi-sport. I don't know if you have it in other countries. I've never heard of it in, in Holland. They might do it, I'm not sure. But here in Bulgaria, basically they have a thing called multi-sport. And what it is, is like companies, you get it through the company that you work for, if you have like a larger company. And then you sign up to it and it has like, um, every day you can use um, other facilities. So for example, you can once a day use a spa or once a day use a gym. But there's only certain mem certain clubs, certain gyms that participate, so you can't use it everywhere. But basically, we're going to go to Garotage, which is where I've trained before, but it's good because it has like all the powerlifting equipment. Because the thing that I'm finding, even though I'm not, not that strong, like for him especially, like he can't train in a lot of gyms because the bars aren't heavy enough. Or they can't carry heavy enough load, or they aren't grippy enough. Because like the, there's no powerlifting bars, they're like just gym bars, if that makes sense. So Garotage is an actual powerlifting and like f a crossfit club, gym, it's more of a, it's just this gym, it's not a club, it's a gym. So I haven't trained there before but we're going to start training there a bit more because it's more close by and it's more convenient than to go to his gym which is like on the other end of Sofia. Which is okay in the weekends but during the weekdays it's going to take like over an hour, maybe an hour to get there with the traffic. Either way, so, uh, but yeah, anyway. I guess watch this for your interview only. I'm still doing my deload with my coach. Um, and then, so that means that basically I'm not training heavy. I've only got like bench and like like some accessory work. And that's it ready. So my, my training is not going to be super crazy. But I think we need to practice the lift off. Because yeah. like we did it the other day. I think I put it in the vlog. But we did, oh yeah, that's the vlog that actually went on today. I put it in there. Like I'm not used to somebody like doing the lift off. 
and it, like it really threw me off because I'm not used to somebody doing it. So it's something that I need to practice. I'm always just used to doing it myself. So the second that someone lifted the weight of it, like it threw me off because I'm just not used to it. So this is something we have to practice doing. So that's something to say. Do I have to do that for the competition though? Yeah. They, they lift off for the competition because when I see some of the other girls doing you know, Victoria and stuff, they don't do it. They lift off. So what time is it now? 5.30. We could start walking the dog soon, I guess, and then we'll can eat sooner, and then we can train sooner, and then I can get back sooner, and do the video sooner, and then I can have a nap sooner. That'll be nice, won't it? I know. So enjoy the video, I guess. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit tired. That's a bit fine. I haven't got much fun this weekend, which is nice. A bit of a quiet weekend. For a change. He has it this weekend, he has to go away and do some things. But I'm going to have a weekend of not wanting to see anybody, I'm going to be my antisocial hermit self. <laughs> hey, Pish. Violet. Violet. What are you being a little weirdo for? <laughs> yes, hi. But you can't come on here. Hey, Pishy. She was very mean this morning. Do you remember she slept between us? Yeah. Yeah. Like literally <laughs> in the middle. Oh, here we've got another trouble. Hi, trouble. Hi, nothing's happening without you. You like to cuddle with your boyfriend, don't you? She loves it the most. Oh no, she's eating. Good. Like, I have fine the foods up there because if her food is down here, these, these two fatties here, these fatties, they will eat the food. Hi. Does she, does she sweet stink? Do they stink? Are they little stinkers? Hi. Are your feeties little stinkers? Hey, Rose. Are your feet little stinkers? Are they? Let me smell. I can't smell. But you don't smell. You don't smell actually. You just smell like Rosie. So we're back from dog walking. I said that really weird dog walking. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so for breakfast I made, um, we got some whole grain bread from Lidl, which is really nice. So I toasted that off with a little bit of butter. Maybe like, oh you saw it, not so much butter. Yeah, I found some, they had some like back bacon, but this is like low fat back mm -hmm. bacon. And um, so we have that. It's okay, I used fat in my eggs. So we've got egg white with two whole eggs, so one egg each. But well, yeah, so this is the breakfast. We have like a continental style breakfast. I didn't fancy having a... I didn't fancy having cream of rice again. So yeah. Then we need to find out the gym because it's actually a bank holiday here today. I'm not sure if the gym's open yet or not. Because sometimes on bank holidays they have different operating hours. But maybe not, we'll see. I used this different eyeshadow from the um, Huda Beauty palette this morning. I don't know what it's called. I kind of like it. It's like a, like a dark taupe shimmer. Anyway, I'm waiting for my bike to finish showering and then we can eat.
So the training is done. It was weird because like I didn't have to train heavy. I did a bit heavy. I could put a bit heavier on my accessories in last year's, but otherwise I would have been finishing like in less than an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, what was I going to say? I, mean, I need to get parcel now. I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. I didn't like the gym very much. Oh yeah, I couldn't film. I couldn't film much of the accessories because I was really busy. And like I don't want to be awkward sitting on my camera and like film people in the background too much because it's just annoying when people do that. So you need to go straight over. I just need to get a parcel now. Oh, I'm really careful. It's okay. I just need to get a parcel because I need to get my contact lenses. So the road there go uh, right. And then we'll go home and I need to finish editing video. Have a shower. Now I need to have a shower first above everything. And I need to put a fake down on so I can wash it off before tonight. Well, that means I have to scrub, because I've got the old fake tan on. So sometimes people ask me about that, with the fake tan to scrub or not. I always go that way. Uh, I always do scrub because I like my tan to be like even. And also I don't mind scrubbing, because then I moisturize afterwards and my skin is nice and soft. So I don't really mind scrubbing. I just don't do it every day. It's only when the tan starts wearing off, which is like now. And it's always in these spots. So I'll give it a scrub off and then put some new on. Right, so as you can see, I'm back from the gym. I did put a fake tan on, so that's ready for tonight. Made a creamy, chosen outfit, because obviously I'm not going to be able to do that later. Mm. I don't want to be putting, trying clothes on when I've got like um, fake tan on, because the room is closed. One of you guys asked me what the creamies I make are made of. Normally, what I do is depending on what flavor protein puddings I get, if it's like vanilla or chocolate or hazelnut, I will literally do like a protein pudding for two. I mix that with some almond milk or not milk of some sort just because I prefer the flavor. And then I do two scoops of whey, and I usually do around 200 milliliters of egg white. And then I blend that all up, and then I just put it into here, and then I mix it. So this is about a scoop of whey, uh, probably around 100 egg whites, and half protein pudding. And look, it's like literally like ice cream. So good, right. Anyway, I have to edit, because I want to try and have a nap before um, I go to my nail appointment. So, one must hurry. Alright, so I just woke up from a nap, which was desperately needed. I'm gonna edit, upload the video now. I had a bit of a discussion with my boyfriend. Not a fight, a discussion. A, a, not even a disagreement, a difference of opinions. And I would like to know your thoughts. So basically, for this powerlifting competition, there's two girls that I know that are going to compete and they're like really fucking strong and they're like basically outlift me. Like one of them is not even a question. It's like with the other one we're kind of close-ish but like she's still stronger than me. The other one is like it's not even, I won't even consider lifting. Like it's, it's like there's not a chance. She takes so many compounds that are so strong that it's like even if I did, even if I did I wouldn't be there because A, I don't have like 10 years of experience. And on top of that like I'm just not willing to put certain things to my body. The other one's natural. Anyway, my my point was that if I knew that we were the only ones competing in the competition, like the three of us, I won't do it. Because I don't want to know enter a competition knowing full well I'm literally going to become last. And he's saying, well, you don't know because people can get injured beforehand, you don't know who's going to be there, you won't be, just you three in the comp category is a quite a big category. There will be a lot of girls, between 7 to 10, um, and also like, he's like, you never know, people fail, he's saying that some of the girls, one of the girls, like, she kept failing on a competition, oh, my dad's calling, hold on, hang on, sorry, dad, one second, yeah?
Cinderella gets the glass heel, and this this Cinderella, her Prince Charming brings her weightlifting shoes. So I have to just try them out to see if they fit or not, which hopefully they do. So let me, let's try. Size 41. Because yeah. I think I'm 41 in Nike, maybe. Yeah. And your foot is tight, so. Yeah, it's, it's narrow. Are these like unisex? Or yes, I guess they are, right? It's unisex? Yeah. There's no map here. They're just different colors. Yeah, have a look. Excuse but me. it's hard to pick them up. Excuse me, Rosie. I'm just... Let's see how deep one can squat. Good. Look! It's a good one! That was like an ugly spot as well, but it's fine. I'm tearing my tree. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's really nice. That's a really nice present you got me. <laughs> Thank you. I make your food. Thank you so much. Really. Quick lunch because I need to go out in a second. I make goat cheese with figs, blueberries, salad, or lettuce, some bit of honey, and blueberries, and red onion. You've never had goat cheese and figs, have you? No, I had this one. It's good. Oh, okay. I thought you never had it before. Anyway, I will eat this in a second. I will eat this now, and then I'll finish my thoughts off in a second. All right, so you're gonna get a bit of an awkward angle. You're okay to be down there because I'm not gonna drive anywhere that's gonna require me to like drive fast as well, like in the inner, um, or, like in the inner, uh, not country roads, but it's like. I'm going to be driving in roads like this, so I'm not really going to be particularly driving fast, obviously, because you can't, and it's irresponsible. Um, so just to finish off the thought, it's funny, because I actually spoke to my dad, and as you know, my dad also was a powerlifter, uh, and a strongman, and I was saying, would you compete in a competition if you knew in advance that people were just going to fucking destroy you? And he's like, well, yes and no, he's like, you're going to have to do it for yourself. And I've kind of, I understand that, like, obviously you do it for yourself and to improve on yourself. But it's just something within me. And I think it's also partially because I'm, like, obviously a social media person. And, like, every time I do anything, the people are critical, which is fine. Like, I don't really care too much about that. But it's just something about doing a competition and failing and losing. Not losing, but, like, yeah, not failing, but losing. Even though if I beat my own personal best, which would be good. It's just something about, like... Knowing in advance you're gonna just be, get smashed, like I couldn't do that. Like, what's the point? Like, to me, I just don't see what the point is. Even though I'm there to like better on my own lifts, it's like no. It's like obviously I want to do well too. I know that like, you don't know who's gonna perform what on the day. You don't know if they're gonna be injured, if they can do all lifts. Like one of the girls has a lot of injuries, and the other girl gets psyched out really easily, so she fails her lift. So that's like obviously it's not uh, just how you look, which it is with bodybuilding. A lot of it is performance mindset. And like people can be really strong. There's like a guy here, for example. He's like on all social media. So he's deadlifting like 500, 500 kilos sumo. But obviously, no shade, but still, stop shade. <laughs> not that I could ever do it, but still, like a sumo deadlift, 500 kilos is not as impressive as a con conventional. That's just uh, the facts, right? But the point being is that um, my boyfriend was saying he's never won an IPF meet, which is like I don't know how he competes in IPF because it's absolutely not natural. But anyway, that's a whole different story. The point is, is that he said the reason he never won an IPF meet is because he keeps failing lifts. He keeps fucking up. Like, for example, you're not supposed to re-rack until they tell you. You're not supposed to squat until they tell you. You're not supposed to lift off with the bench until they tell you. Um, you know, can't drop the weight when you're dead deadlifting. So there's a lot to it. It's not just a case of just picking up and putting the weight down. There's like, there's rules, basically. So just because somebody might be strong, they could fail at the rules. Or they might just be overdoing it in training in the lead up. And therefore, they might not be able to... Um, present as well because they're getting injured or they're just fatiguing themselves too much you never know right for example so my dad kind of just reassured me to say that obviously like it's not about that you should just do it for yourself and then next time try and improve on your own numbers but I just can't I just don't think I can do it if I know in advance that I'm just gonna be up against girls that are like way stronger than me look if there's one or two it's fine and if there's like ten girls or eight girls competing also no problem but if it's just like me and them two, then it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I just can't do it. I can't bring myself to go through a diet because I'm going to have to. I'm probably like around 77 kilo now. I haven't weighed myself in ages, but looking at how I look, I'm probably around 77 kilo now. 
I'm gonna have to diet. I'm gonna try and not take any performance houses if I can, really. Maybe besides maybe like with like a fat burner or something, if, if even necessary. I'm gonna try and avoid taking any performance enhancers if I can. I don't, the training is okay. I don't mind it this much, but it's not, uh, I prefer bodybuilding training. I think that's more fun. Like at least I get to train how I want. I get more pleasure out of training. This is okay, but it's like, it's weird. Like, you know, for example today, doing the five, time, five times two bench press, it's like, it's just not, I know that the training is going to get harder, which is also the point, but it's just a very mechanical way of training, if that makes sense. Like, there's no... It's nice if you're going to set a PR and all that kind of stuff, and it's nice to learn techniques, but how... With bodybuilding, bodybuilding training is just more fun, in my opinion, basically, simple as that. I love... Okay, maybe I'm just a pump chaser, who knows. And with, with this, it's not really about that. You're not supposed to get fatigued on the accessories. You're just doing them for some ex accessory strength, but also some some a little bit of aesthetics. Because you want to look a certain way, but really, and some of them, some of them can aid with the lift, but it's not. Um, ah, thank you. It's not a, a mandatory thing to do. So I don't know. At the end of the day, I'll see. Like I can always, like I, I never sign up for a competition until like two weeks before anyway. So it's not like I'm just going to stop doing it. It's just a bit like I just personally, I don't see the point if I know there's literally going to be three of us. Say three of us. If there's going to be three of us. To go up against girls that I know that are gonna just like really outlift me. I just don't see what the point is. To enter knowing, knowing in advance, I'm probably gonna lose. Like, why would you do that though? Like, okay, if there's ten people competing or seven, it's different. If I was to come say like third out of seven, that'd be fucking awesome. Because I am new to powerlifting. But to come like three out of three, knowing I'm gonna become three out of three, I can't do that. And then you know what it's gonna be like. And like, I know that like, I shouldn't think about it, but at the end of the day, like, I'm a social media person. People are gonna fucking rip on me for that. And it's like, okay, like, it doesn't matter too much what people think. But at the same time, like, I don't need to invite. I don't need to invite additional fucking, just like shit comments already. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get my nails on finally because they're looking fucking awful. Then I get back. I need to have a quick shower. Basically, put on my dress and start doing my makeup for the uh, for for the date tonight. So we're gonna go to a restaurant called Fake French, where they do French cuisine. And then we're gonna go to, uh, not Ozone, but we're gonna go to a bar that's above Ozone. So that'll be nice, have a couple of cocktails. He's driving, so he will probably not drink too much, he might have one or two drinks. And then, um, and like with food and stuff, you're okay to drive, you won't be, um, you won't, you won't be over the limit. And then, I might have a few drinks, but I'm not gonna get pissed, so I don't really want to. It's not, I'm not really in the mood for that anyway. But I might get slightly tipsy, for sure, like, I like to get a little bit tipsy. But I'll probably have a uh, fake French some wine, be rude not to, and then Ozone might have like a cocktail or two. But it's probably going to be a lot of food, so I think it should be uh, not too much of a problem. I'm going to try and not eat until we go for dinner tonight, but I'm not too sure if I can. But we'll try. But yeah, I suppose I can't complain. Like, at least my bench press and stuff like that is progressing pretty well. I don't know, like, you never know how people are going to live. And like, I've never tried to peak, so who knows. It's just like, I don't know, am I the only one that thinks like this? Just to, am I the only one that doesn't see the point in entering a competition if it's, um, if I know in advance I'm going to be last? I just don't see like what the point of it is. Like, why would I stick to a program? Why would I do the dieting? Why, why, would, I, why would I do everything knowing in advance I'm not going to, not like knowing in advance I'm going to lose, which is the thing. But then he was saying like, you don't know, because people do sometimes do a lift and they, injured themselves on the first lift and therefore they're out but then you've still kind of like you've still not won you've still kind of only won by default and it's not it's not really a win is it when it's like that that's a pretty cat anyway the road. Like, this is bulgaria guys look at the roads <laughs> this is like very typical this is very very typical of uh bulgaria so now i just have to try and find some parking that fucking destroy my car. I think I'll go here. Is that enough space? Well, I think so. I think there's enough space so time to get these fucking disgusting nail sorted. I cannot wait and I can't wait for them to be shorter. I do not like having nails this long. This is really inconvenient for me. So let's go and do the nails. All right, so since you last saw me, I got my nails done, which doesn't really go with my outfit, but 
The outfit for tonight is the red dress that I wore once for a try on haul and it didn't fit me. But now that I'm I'm a little bit more meaty, shall we say, it fits perfectly fine. This is chaos by the way because, well, things are happening here and I need to find space for people's clothes. So besides that point, this is the look for tonight's dinner. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do now is back on my hair and then put it up so in a semi semi updo is what I'm thinking. Um, I will wear this with the red with the black shoes and the black dress, uh, black shoes and a black handbag. Uh, from here on in, I'll do some filming with the phone because I don't want to take my camera with me. It's a bit awkward. But yeah, if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then be a, become a member because I actually did it on a members live stream. I've been kind of enjoying the get ready with me with members. We're like. We'll catch up and like talk shit. So from here on in, you'll probably just get a lot of mostly some B-roll. And that's it really. My boyfriend's just taking the dogs out for a walk because it's just about thunder, which is not great, as you can see, but it's fine. And then we're literally we'll literally walk from that car to the to the restaurant and from the restaurant we'll drive to the venue. From the restaurant we'll drive to the sky bar, well the parking of the sky bar and then take the elevator up. So the shoes I'm wearing are not comfortable at all, but they're very beautiful and that's all that cares I care about because I'm look I'm there to be pretty, to sit there and be pretty, I'm not there to walk. So on that note, let me get going with me with my hair up to and I'll uh, yeah show you some videos later. Hey pretty girl. Hi. Are you happy to see us? You wanna say hi? Hello? <laughs> hi. Hey pretty girl. Hey pretty Did you just told me Daisy was the third book? No, I said Rosie was. <laughs> hey Daisy. Hey big bum. Big bummy. Come here. <laughs> Wait, mommy needs to take your shoes off. Oh, really? Rosie, be nice to your sister, please. Hey, Pishy. Who is the Hi. Hello. Why are you so sweetie? Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ay, mami. <laughs> oh, such a good girl.